Hey everybody, it's me. We're back here again on uh, Conquest Reforge in our in our town slash monastery slash uh, basilica, and we've got quite a bit to go today. And so let's just get started, shall we? All right. So today I want to show you what I've been working on for the last two or three days, and um, and then we'll start working on another build. Okay, so let's just you can see behind me. Well, I'm, you probably don't know where I'm at. You can kind of see the Basilica Tower over my uh, right shoulder there up on the high ground. But all this is pretty much brand new build. So we're going to walk in. And this is from the west, walking into town. If we look at our map. We are walking into town. We've done quite a lot of buildup. And uh, we've done quite a bit of work to the west and to the north. So without any hesitation, let's just get started. And we walk into here, you can see where the gatehouse originally was. We've done some detailing out and we've created this nice little market area. And really nice. And the second uh, story walls and buildings are up. And then a, even above that, you can see the city itself. So we will go up that road after a while. But we've got a little fruit stand here. We've got a cheese. And bread shop and then down over here we have uh, live animals dead animals uh, which is still a work in progress but we're getting there so we got our three little shops and we got our pigeons and we've got the street pretty much detailed out um, so I'm pretty happy with it buildings aren't done but the exterior looks pretty decent so if we go into if we go in and look up our tower, we go into our city, we'll go walk back down the street again. A little bit more work down through here. Still some more work to do. You see a lot more color has been brought in. Little additions here and there and as we go. Pretty happy with how it worked. Now we've got a street and a couple of new buildings down here. We've got our squid pen down here. And you can see across the way, this is kind of built up quite a bit. Need to do some work on this building, but I'm pretty happy with it so far. We've got the red house here. Now beside it we have the blue house with the lilac bushes. We've added some more lilacs and flowers over here. A few more balconies as we go. It's just starting to turn out pretty nice. We've done some uh, road building. And our next area that we will focus on is over at this side. This is going to be a nice little walkabout by this new city wall next to the tower, next to the infirmary and the garden, with a few more buildings. And we walk around this beautiful lake. And our two new houses over here. It's really starting to come nicely together. And we butt up right up against the, the mesa. That's going to look pretty good. I'm pretty happy with it. So yeah. But really, before we lose the light, we're going to walk out of town and down the road. And then look back at what we've done. We've done some detailing work on the road, kind of evened it out a little bit, flows a little nicer. Done some terraforming down this way. Heading towards our Dwarven Kingdom. If we look back at the Basilica. You can see where I've been doing a lot of work. So, where are we sitting time-wise? Looking pretty good. 
We'll just sit here for a minute. As the sun goes down, it really takes on an epic, epic look. Really happy with the way this turned out. A few more tweaks to do, but I'm pretty happy with it. And as you can see, center mass, you can see the, the statue of St. Um, what did we say his name was? I can't remember. St. Steve? Really says a nice glow. Really looks pretty nice. Yeah. All right. northern face of the basilica is looking pretty good. Let's get a little closer and see what we did. I still see a couple things I need to do. Grand or the grand staircase into the firmery is done. And basically it just leads you up from all the way down here from our infirmary up to the main floor. This leads into the basement of the monastery. If we go up here, then you come into the church itself. That's a nice little way for everybody who's not part of the monastery to get to the infirmary. And then you have this nice little balcony, and this leads into the chat or the, into the, the monastery itself, into the cloisters, and everything else. But it turned out really well. We're using this arch design really makes a stunning look we copied that onto the main walls and really really looks nice now we fronted the whole thing in smooth marble and added columns just about everywhere it really makes a nice look a little bit more work i want to do a couple more things and then our statue to the saint is merely an armor stand with gold armor all over it on a gold block which kind of gives it a little fuzzy thing or glowy look with a torch behind it. A nice look. Very simple. Smooth marble, small columns or pillars with a glass block. Nice, nice look. Goes all the way around to the other wall, which is again just nice arch columns. Like I said, I got to put cover these up a little bit. It doesn't show on the other side so much. I've already done it. You can see I've done two different types of arches, small ones for the lower, and then the larger arches on the top. It just kind of gives you a really nice look. Look at that. Look how nice that is. Yeah, really happy with that. Okay. So and then I've done some terraforming down here. This is all uh, caves that didn't go really go anywhere. And a little digging out here so here's our water either coming into or leaving the mountain where i'm not sure which and then it ties into our main lake over here so yeah in addition we will be construction or constructing some more buildings in the monastery complex we still have the chapter house to do which will probably sit right around in here you see i've leveled us all off and uh, it, we're ready for construction on this side now. So pretty happy with it. We fly back around on this side. You really don't see anything that I've done. Because I haven't really done anything over here. We fly back into town. I've done a, a little bit of work on some of these buildings. Now, <clears throat> the guest house we've already looked at. But I've roofed out a few of these and touched them up a little bit. And uh, along this street, I really like this detailed balcony. And this house, otherwise very plain, has this very nice balcony in the, on the, in the attic space, along with another balcony over here on the second floor. But from the ground level, looking up, it's just a nice view. As we walk further down the street, another very plain house. And then a more ornate house. Um, I'm not sure what this is going to be used for, but it is very, very bright and shiny, so to speak. If we go inside, um, we've got a deck on the back overlooking the city. 
just see how much work we've been doing. Stairs up to the second floor, and then stairs up. Oh, let's go through this out the balcony overlook. Really kind of cool. We you can see we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten more buildings to do. And then up into the third floor, which is pretty plain. It gives you a nice look up here, too. If we fly down this other road and take a look back. Yeah, these houses are turning out really nice. So, I mean, if we come down back to where we were when we started, and we look up, it just the view is incredible. We walk up the steps into the overstreet, if you will. We've got this nice set of buildings here. Then we can look down into the into the gatehouse or into the gate going into the city in the marketplace as we continue to go up the steps we just see more and more of the city which is kind of the point and uh, yeah it really looks pretty nice and then we get to the parts of the city we haven't worked on too much yet but the buildings are still there and we kind of come into the back way into the town and we're right back to where we were. Of course, there'll be a couple more buildings right here. And another large building here. We'll finish up the buildings on this street. And then this part of the town is done. Like I said, I think we have 10 buildings here. Plus five or six more over there. Um, still have a few buildings to build down through here. So not to mention the rest of the monastery. But it's coming along. Really kind of liking how it looks. That's not, the, that's not the focus for today. focus for today is we started our farmland. And if we go out this way, I built a little farmhouse over here next to our crops. Right next to the mesa. Hello, sheep. And uh, this little house is kind of based on the one my dad grew up in. Uh, out in the prairie it had running water and that was about it so coming into the kitchen we've got a stove but we also got a heater that heats the whole house into the kitchen um, we've got storage we've got washing area for clothes and dishes and just just a just a kitchen come into this really come into the sitting room very plain very small and that was really about it we've got two bedrooms also very plain and very small and uh, that's the whole house and it's about the size of the house too I remember as a kid growing up visiting my grandparents so and out the back door the backyard they had the little uh, outhouse so what I have to do yet is I had a root cellar storm cellar that would have been right about here dug into the earth and in another build we will do that but today today we're gonna try to build a barn and we're gonna try to build it right about here so the first thing we need to do is do a little bit of earth cleaning. So we'll snap into um, high speed time lapse and get this cleared up. All right, we got this all cleared off here. Um, then do a little bit of clearing here. But our building area is going to be basically this flat ground. 
up here. And we got grazing lands all the way around it. We're going to build a barn. Our back wall is going to be right here. And our door is basically going to be right about here. So the first thing we're going to do is open our work bar and grab some wooden beams. And we're going to do, let's see, let's do oak. Dark oak? Uh, yeah, we can do dark oak. We'll start with dark oak beams. We'll put one in the corner. Four high. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, yeah. Good guess. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. This is going to be our door. Watch out, cheap. One, two. Two, three, four, five. One more set of five. One, two, three, five. And then it oh, looks like we're going to add a little earth back here. All right, three, two, one. Now we've got these set down. They're offset by one. It's not across. Smaller in the front, and that's perfectly fine. What we're going to do is raise these corners by one and put our cross beams in. And that'll be the same for the entire build. Let me get that done. And then we'll jump back into build time. Now we got our basic shape. Now what we're going to do is we're going to actually count two over. One, two, up, three. Two over, up three, bring us across, over two, over two, there's our center. There's our basic barn structure. Now, this is going to be a very um, primitive or, or ancient barn, so we're going to do some. Um, now let's see what we have. We're going to go over here, and we're going to look at the wall. We could do Tudor, but I really like the mud Tudor frame. We could do the dark Tudor. But really what we want is this mud tutor. This is going to give it a very rustic look. That's wrong one. So now we're going to put in our floor for our hayloft. We start on this end and use uh, we're going to use birch logs. This will lighten up the interior quite a bit.
Let me get some lights in here. Okay, so let's get started on the roof. For our roof, we're going to use some red tile. Pretty much all three types of blocks. So, right off the bat, And there we have a roof line. So, kind of a, uh, yeah, it looks okay. So, up in our hay mail here, and you're going to wonder why this is offset. I'll show you here in a minute. You go into our, we try to go into our barn, when we already got our first sheep customer for a hay log. And we're going to stack this thing completely full of hay. But in order to do that, we've got to have a couple things first. We put some on the other side, but we don't need a whole bunch. But we could put more up in here. Or well, we could store other items too. Add a little rope on this side. That ties into the same on this side. So there we go with that. Now we'll work on the basement here as soon as we take that. So we're going to use some trap doors, and we're going to use these nice little red and bright ones, because they kind of make a nice little barn.
So we're going to have two doors here, but one on each side. So let's do X's in the corners. So we've got that one. And to show that this is actually a door, what we're going to do is we're going to put grass in here and half shut this door. We take the grass out, and it looks like the barn door is actually half shut. Now we could then we can add some rollers or something up on top to make it look like a slidey door. But there's your barn door, so that looks kind of cool. Mm -hmm. Actually, I think we'll put an X in the middle too. Yeah. Yeah. So those are slidey by doors. Now on the interior, we have one over here. So we'll have this door open. We'll have one over here. And we'll have this one shut. So we're going to do the same trick with the grass as we did before. I suppose I could have done it with just regular. That makes a cool deal. And actually, we could have that half open, half shut. First thing we're going to do is get rid of all this grass. And replace it with a little bit of muddy dirt, a little bit of dirt dirt, a little bit of coarse dirt. But first, we're going to dig all this out. So another time lapse. Here's our inside of our barn, right with our mud, where the most common movement is. And then along this short, small corridor is where our travel is, and then we'll have our stalls on this side. So on this side, starting with this beam, we're going to put in a little wall. Yeah, we do want to have a little model, a lot knob. All right, so there's our first one. We'll put some more wall light up in here. We're going to get our second one in. So there are pens, if you will, our stalls. We're leaving this open so we can transfer hay down. Or we'll add another roof beam, or we could just what we did when we were kids, just toss the bales down to feed the horse or feed the cows, which means we have to have some place to put the hay. I'm going to put it against this back wall. Or you can put it over front, but usually put it against this back wall. A bale, and then we'll, we'll add a piece to this. Just like that, and then we'll have a little horse trough to, or water trough. So I'm going to put a couple of these in here. 
so now we got all our our, our stalls with hay and they will normally be in a manger so what we're going to do is go back to our trap doors and find a nice manger looking thing so we want a little bit of wood but nothing too fancy gray painted planks I think that that's a nice little deal All we're going to really do is just put them around them. And there's our majors. Really, if you wanted to show it, hey, being eaten, you could do that. Go down like that. And you could go get some hay, loose hay on the floor. Kind of throw that around a little bit. So we can throw a couple bales down here for what we're going to feed for today. And then we'll finish up with the majors and we're going to get some water buckets. So we're going to go and get our, our empty buckets. We got an empty bucket here. We'll have some empty barrels that'll have for the water. And um, well, we need to have one of the we need to have a, one of those on the roof for sure. That's really about all we need, I think. So we're gonna throw a water bucket in each one of these in the corner somewhere. I think that'll be fine. And then we'll have a couple buckets over here for when we have to get water. And then we better put our rooster on top. Put it near the house so we know which one's which. And then our barn is just about done, ladies and gentlemen. Now, I would definitely come in and do the rest of this. This road coming out. And tie it into our road over there. But for the most part, let's take a quick look at what we've done. And then we'll be pretty happy with it. So we have a barn. It's basically a, a daub and waddle. Dark oak beams, red tile. We've got our main doors. We come in. We've got four stalls. If you don't have any gates on them, that's what we needed. I'm glad you said something. Nice gates on each one. It's not that way. There we go. So we've got our four stalls with gates. We've got entry in from the north into the south. We've got our main door here. If we really wanted to, we could put a window right in each one of these. Um, but I think we'll leave that for later. So we've got our work area. We've got our hay. We've got our up to the second floor. Just need to put a ladder in here. And it leads us up to our hay mow with storage of hay. And we've got our winches to bring the hay up on both sides or lower the hay down. And we're just about, I think, finished. We'll put some lights up in here before we get too dark. And then we are finished, I think. So that's really it for today. Um, really happy with this build so far. And uh, the barn is a nice big community barn with some, oh, I forgot some blocks. Um, but we got our farmhouse and now we have our barn and we are slowly putting our, 
our farmland together. So that's it for me, and I'll see you later. Have a good one.